माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज़ पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द सीरीज केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हेलो एल्केन्स इन दिस पार्ट थ्री आई आई विल बी टीचिंग यू अबाउट द रिडक्शन रिएक्शन ऑफ हेलो एल्केन्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हेलो एल्केन्स कैन बी रिड्यूस टू देयर रिस्पेक्टिव एल्केन्स ऑल राइट एंड दीज रिडक्शन कैन बी कैरीड आउट इन मेनी वेज आई हैव लिस्टेड आउट आउट ऑफ दोज मेनी वेज आई हैव लिस्टेड आउट हियर थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट वेज The first is reduction with hydrogen gas directly, not nascent hydrogen. Remember, hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel, palladium, or platinum at their specific temperature, that is 525 Kelvin. So, whatever hello alkene you are going to reduce, you are supposed to react it with hydrogen gas directly in the presence of nickel at the specific temperature, where hello alkene get reduced to respective alkene along with the formation of HPr. I hope it is very simple reaction to understand. Now next is reduction with zinc copper couple and ethyl alcohol. It's a reducing agent, and here this reducing agent furnishes nascent hydrogen. So this is the difference of these two reaction. This is catalytic reduction. This becomes the example of catalytic reduction. All right, and this is a reduction by reducing agent. So there is a difference of catalytic reduction and reducing agent. Use of reducing reducing agent. Catalytic reduction is always carried out with hydrogen gas in the presence of a particular catalyst at a particular temperature. Whereas when we use reducing agent, and these reducing agent they furnish nascent hydrogen, which brings about the reduction of the compound. Like here, zinc copper couple along with the ethyl alcohol. So zinc interacts with ethyl alcohol, furnishes nascent hydrogen. and resulting with the formation of this compound and uh, where these nascent hydrogen furnished by this reducing agent reduces particular alkene uh, sorry particular hello alkene into its respective alkene you can see here ethyl bromide gets reduced to ethane now third way of the reduction is reduction with hi in the presence of red phosphorus all right this reaction is a restricted reaction why because through this reaction we can only reduce alkyl iodides not alkyl chlorides and even not alkyl bromides only alkyl iodides remember this so here in this reaction i have uh, written here ethyl iodide you can make use of any other alkyl iodide by reacting it with hi hi hydrogen iodide in the presence of red phosphorus at the temperature 430 kelvin where the reduction takes place in such a way that you see here ch3 ch2 and this h into the respective alkene with the liberation of iodine gas so it's a specific reaction remember once again only alkyl halides can be reduced by this reaction see dear students this reduction can be as in the beginning i told it can be brought about in many ways only few ways i have listed out you can even make use of some other reducing agent like li al h4 all right for the reduction of hello alkene even you can make use of zinc hcl or even you can make use of tin hcl these are the basic reducing agent used for the reduction of the organic compounds i hope this reduction reaction is clear to all of you